Okay, guys, we're back on. Uh, for those of you that just got here, we had a couple of students. We went over Q&A. Yeah, we just did it. So you may need to go back and watch the video. Okay. Uh, and you know what? I'm, I'm going to tell you guys real quick. So as soon as you set up, let me know. And we're going to go over it just real quick. I mean, super fast. We're not going to cover a whole lot because I think what we're going to do is do some Q&A at the end so you'll at least know how to do it. Okay. So what we're going to go over now is capitalization. Capitalization. <laughs> Capitalization. It's okay. Capsation. Wow. Somebody's been listening. Okay. The first word of a sentence is automatically capitalized when using cat technology if that word follows. An end mark, which is a period, question mark, exclamation point. A paragraph, which is PF. A question bank which is the home on the left side is your question bank. Try that. Or the answer bank, which is the home on your right side, all eight, all eight keys. So all eight keys on the left, all eight keys on the right. So once you get your computer up and going, you're gonna see that a Q&A pops up, right? Yeah. Or not. Okay. So proper nouns in general use that have no lowercase case counterpart are automatically capitalized using cat technology. These include such categories as oceans, continents, countries, states, capital cities, and common names. Note, major countries, cities, etc., are in the Stened Translation Dictionary. Less common proper nouns in local cities, streets, etc., are to be added to the individual user when appropriate, okay? So many words commonly occur in both upper and lower case. An asterisk can be used in many of these words to distinguish the capitalized form from the lower case form. Some examples are as follows. So bill and bill. So when you're talking about a dollar bill, write that dollar bill Dollar, dollar bill, and then bill with the asterisk, Smith. Smith would be one that you don't need, correct? Smith, you shouldn't need it. Because the you already have the asterisk with the T that puts the H. But, I mean, you probably wouldn't need it anyway. So, Jim and Jim. So the gym, like a workout gym, is just J-I-M. And gym, as in Jim Krzyzewski, write that, is with the asterisk. Jim, chef, chef. Somebody else was listening. So Jack and Jack. J-A-K, J-A-K with the asterisk. So John and John. I don't know where John would be lowercase. Bathroom, slang. Oh, uh, yeah. Leave it to well, the Indy. <laughs> I'm sorry. There you go. Well, the other half of the was fine. Or that. <laughs> okay, Mark and Mark. So mark this exhibit. And Mark Schotterholtz. <laughs> or that. I don't know. Mike and Mike. Sue and Sue. Sue somebody. 
and Sue Gonzalez. Dad and Dad. Well, when you're talking to your dad, Dad, can I go to the movies? Really? Yeah. I don't do that both you and I talk to him. Because otherwise, I'd huh? say, Roland, can I go to the movies? You write him letters? And you say, Dad, can I go to the movies? You know, like, like, when, you know, like when you're going to write, you know, a card. You know, Dad, I, you know, I'm sorry for, so it's kind of like that. So when you're talking to that person, it's like doctor. You know, when you're talking to the doctor, it's capitalized. When you're talking about the doctor, it's not, okay? When you're talking about a specific doctor, it is, but that's a to that's a DR. The other one is doctor. Doctor, is it true that, you know, when you perform the procedure, blah, 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 or, you know, when the doctor performed the procedure, it's not capitalized then. Got it? So mom and mom, Ford and Ford. Court and Court. Jury and Jury. So J U R is Jury. You in the back. When you do ladies and gentlemen of the jury, do you do capital ladies, capital gentlemen, capital J to jury? No. Okay. I just do a cap on the ladies. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Okay. Street and street. So let's try that. Let, you know, let's try that. So let's say, write what I'm telling you. Let's go down the street to Main Street. Work? Yeah. Except for Maine. Try it with the asterisk. Mm -hmm. It made it the state. It made it the state? Yeah. Just do Maine. Because with the capital street, it may, it may know to do it. No? Thing, but oh, with right, the asterisk. Okay. <clears throat> it's doing it with the abbreviation? No, I don't Oh, okay. So city and city. Headlights look. County and county. So, like, if you wanted to write city of San Antonio, mm -hmm. how the city would be capitalized? How would we write? How would it be capitalized? City of, and I do San Antonio SA period. Do city of Phoenix. See if Phoenix comes up. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I'm like, I don't even know how to spell that. She's like, okay, it's not. I'm like, it worked. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> no. We don't know. What's we just it out. We don't have to check out the name. Seriously? Fiend. Nix. Duh. Stroke it out. Fiend. Nix. Don't give me that I don't know how to stroke it out. Come on. There's nothing, there's not a word I can say that you can't stroke out. Not one. Try that one. What? What? Try that one. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. So county and county. State and state. Federal is F R A L. Frau. Frau and Frau. Congress and Congress is Kong. House and House. Senator and Senator. President is PT. President and President. Okay, what they're saying on the on the bottom one is KP designates the capital. So try it. Uh, KP Main Street. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> KP. Is it one time? No. Not X. KP. Yeah. Not X. Street. KP, Main, and then Street with the asterisk. Well, street hasn't happened. So just do Main regular. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I, I was thinking that you were saying that it was going to add to it, but I guess it makes sense that it won't. Because when does it know to stop? Yeah. You want me to get it? Okay. <laughs> Don't turn it off. It'll stop eventually. Yeah. In 45 minutes, it'll cut off. It, it, it tells it to capitalize the next word. Huh? So you can basically do it for the president or something like that. Guys, it's not X. It's KP. Not X. KP on this side is X, so it's KP. But what we? <laughs> you didn't like that P? <laughs> yeah. So like any name would be like Maria, KP person. You know, like a lot of those I would have in my dictionary, like Maria, I would. I mean, I, I have it in my dictionary already. <laughs> But like I do Garza, Gars, Gars, or you could do K, K P Gars Sa. Okay. okay. I had K P and it came on a word. So now that I wanted to change it to an instruction, do I put initial K, final P, and then when it comes up in my dictionary, do I do the left bracket and then capitalize on the right bracket? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, man, no, Initial K, that. final P. Yeah. And when it comes up in the dictionary, it comes up a word. What so word I is it? Change that. Confidence. The 
Did you yeah. put that in? Was it already I, I, somebody's? I, 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 I won't say I didn't, but I won't say I did either because we have another word for company. See, I don't. Yeah. So I want to change it. I don't know. I don't. I don't know exactly what needs to go in there to do the cap next, where you do it correct. And it could be, it's it's probably something just real simple. Oh, okay. um, yeah. <laughs> If the word already contains an asterisk, use the method D below to signify uppercase. method D. That's what it's talking about. Yeah. Okay. So to capitalize words not covered in A, B, or C above, use KP to designate an initial cap. Use KPS to designate all caps. So if you're talking about an acronym, so say they, they, they're they saying CPS or LOL, LOL or Or it could be the KPS and with the asterisk. No, nah, because you really don't put like exclamation and stuff. 
Um, but one of the students tried to do it, and she, you know, you do it K and then PS on the final, and it turned on, and then you're supposed to be able to do KPS again. I figured it out. You do it with this asterisk. You won't turn it off. Oh, really? And it did? Okay, so you do KPS to turn it on, so do it. KPS <laughs> and write Jack, Bill, Dad. Hey, now you want to teach a class or what, guy? That's on the next page. We're, we're coming up to that. Yeah, it's on the next page. We're coming up to it. So Bill Jack Dad came up and then KPS with the asterisk should turn it off and do Jack Bill Dad. See? No. See? Alright. Do what? Yep. Yours is still on? Huh? Hey, you didn't call me Indy. I finally figured out something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Indy. Good thing he didn't call you Indy. 19. You don't want to be like all of us. Yeah. You don't want to be... Thanks. Well, Indy number seven. No, what's a little guy? Again, I want to thank you. Brown. How are you? I'm Aiden. Huh? Her. What's his name? What's the little kid from the... Little Round. Round. There you go. Little Round. Little Round. <laughs> you don't want to be that cat. No, I don't. Okay, so like I told you guys last night, like on east, west, north, south, how to do them. It's just with the asterisk. So north, east, south, west, they each need the asterisk. One, because you have an ST or you have a TH. Okay? But to capitalize it, it's KP. Got it? Yeah. Yes, it doesn't turn off. Huh? When I do KPS. KPS. Not KPS, KP. KPS turns it off. KPS with the asterisk turns it off. Okay, so acronyms and initials. Page 258, Roland. the next letter. And when you do KPS, it's going to capitalize all, all the letters. So now it's like an acronym. KPS asterisk, it turns the capital off and returns you to the lowercase. No. Yeah, KPS asterisk. Okay. Thank turns you. it off. KPS turns it on. KPS asterisk turns it off. Okay? So now we're going to do acronyms and initials. The following outlines are used for the acronyms and initials. This list is available in some tutorial formats. It is not available on audio. Well, you're getting it on audio. <laughs> so A is A period. So A period is A period with the asterisk. Huh? A period with the asterisk. Should with the period attached to the left. Or an initial. Initial A and then period. Huh? They're both capitalized. They should be. Then 
One is supposed to be with the period standing alone, and one is with the period attached to the left. So like if you're talking about ABC pest control, and it's A, B, so it's going to put the period to the left, I guess. Does it? No? Okay, so when you do it with the asterisk, it puts them close together with no spaces. Without the asterisk, there's spaces. What's that? If you put the asterisk, it doesn't put a space in between the initials. If you don't put the asterisk, there's a space in between the initials. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. Uh, okay. So the asterisk, asterisk keeps it together. Yeah. I so see like what you're saying. ABC okay. All right. I get it. Yeah. Okay, so try it. A, try it both ways. A, A period, then A period with the asterisk. B, both ways. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Always got to be ahead. K period? K came out can? Can, yeah. Why? Did you do it again? And it still came out can? Who? So for the Z, it's STK. Huh? Because in that, it's going to put it as the S. Yes. So it's STK for the Z. Was, did anyone else have the K? Who else came out K? K? Who else came out K? Can? 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 Everybody's came out can? No, no, no. no. Everyone's the same. It's all right. Mine's just.
period standing alone is a comma what's comma RBGS. rbgs so try it a comma and then a asterisk comma okay roland i know you had to step out for an emergency but we did the we did the initials so it's on page 258 so it's a period for a period and then a period with an asterisk that attaches it to something else so if you do a period it's just going to stand alone as an a if you do a period with an asterisk it's going to know to put it together like abc pest control so try it Kisslingberry, take it easy. <laughs> so you're saying the e period gives me a period literally. Yeah. But then the a asterisk period gives me what? Puts it on. So say you're going to do A, B, C. So do the car. Huh? It's not doing anything. Your computer crashed again? Yeah, it, just, it just sits there. It does that a lot where it just sits there and then a few minutes later. Really? Okay. But anyway, so just tell me. So it, it puts it together. So if you write the car ABC pest control, it's going to put ABC pest control together. But if you yeah, put sure. A period B period C, it's going to put A period space B period space C period space. The commas without without the period yeah, stand alone. I have, which I don't know if you, you guys talked about it, is how do you make it lowercase? So like if you did ASAP, you don't always write your capital LOL, I wouldn't write it a capital. So how would you do ASAP is always capped. Always? Yeah, I've I've always seen it as capped. Um, I'm trying to think of something that wouldn't be. Even like Airbnb, the B and B is lowercase. But it's a company. I know, but the air, the A is capital. Air, C, and D. The adults are talking. <laughs> you, you don't use it. You don't do it. No. Okay, then I won't worry about it. Yeah. I don't think I've ever written it where it needs to be a lowercase. Okay, so got it? Got it. All right. We'll do acronyms. 
Acronyms are extremely common in court work and in everyday English. Acronyms are created when the initials of a series of words or words or word parts are combined to form single word or combination of letters. So acronyms may occur with or without periods, such as USA and USA. So try it. So which one is it going to be? It's with the asterisk. It's going to have the asterisk. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I looked at it wrong. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> what the? What? So with the periods where it needs to be attached is with the asterisk. Without is with the commas. Every letter with your left hand, so it doesn't matter. The U doesn't matter. Okay. So it's going to be U period with the asterisk. Okay. S is over here, A is over here, so it's not going to matter. Yeah. Same thing with the comma. So try it with RPR. So it's going to be with the comma asterisk to put it together. So try it both ways to see what it does and then you'll know why Base. Try base. You know what? Try it with the periods too. Try it both ways. Base. B A S E. Board of Approved Student Education. Base. So we're trying it with and without. So I mean, yeah. But it's gonna be it's gonna be base with the period and the asterisk and with the comma and the asterisk and see what it does. Yeah. That's it. What's it taking so long? What's taking so long? What do you mean? No, we should be on the next page now. Is your computer working? Yeah. That's what's taking so long. Your computer. That you won at the carnival or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to get that stuffed animal. Yeah, and, and I instead I got a computer. <laughs> okay, guys, try these. Uh, TV. So it's just going to be T long E, V long E. Let's see if it comes up. T long E, V long E. They're telling you right here. So acronyms which are spoken as words rather than initials can often be written as sounded unless they sound, unless that sound is already a word. For example, TV. So you can write it T long E, V long E. Yeah. Uh, 
and see if it comes out. And if it comes out, good. Use TV. My TV is T asterisk V. That's how I write it. But if you want to write it the correct way, it's T period asterisk V period asterisk to put it together. The asterisk is the one that puts it together, Roland. Mm -hmm. I know you're looking at me kind of crazy. That The asterisk puts it together. So if you put T period, V period, now it's gonna put T period space, V period space, okay? I tried it how the T period and then the V star, um, oh no, it's not a period, it's a comma. The T, the comma, the V, asterisk. You have to write them the same. So it's T, Asterisk period, V asterisk period. Oh, yes. Do what? Keep it the same. You don't need to do it different. Keep it the same and then we'll keep it the same. Got it? Got it. <laughs> For sure. So the same thing with ASCII. A-S, key, ASCII. What is that? What is that? An ASCII? Yeah. It's like a little disc. Sorry, more not in the... You'll learn it. You'll learn it in Eclipse. You're not, hey, crawl, walk, run. Y'all are still in the womb, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you millennials are still. I'm not a millennial. Yeah. Hmm? You are. Okay. Born in 80? It's at 88, but all the way to 2000 something. Okay. Yeah. I was born in 84. He just What? <laughs> it's, on a, it's on a disc. Yeah. I'm sure you cats don't even know what a cassette tape is, so I won't even, or a record. Huh? You do? Your mom showed you, <laughs> your mom showed you one day. Have you ever seen one? Yeah. <laughs> That's, now you're aging yourself. What <laughs> were we talking about, Askew? What area were you talking about? It's at the bottom of 258. We're just writing it as key, as key. So just try writing it, see if it comes up that way. Does it? Yes. Okay. ESOP. Wait, so is it a brand that it's capitalized or? No, it's, it's a thing. Yeah. It's an ESOP. I don't know what an ESOP is. NASDAQ. So NASDAQ. So should that be in all capital? It's gonna put it in all capitals. It's telling you that. Yeah. It does it? The first letter is capitalized. Really? Yeah. yeah. And you're writing it. It's not NAS. It's NAS. NASDAQ. Yep. Really? Yep. I don't know if it is. Oh, it is. It's an acronym. Yeah. NATO. NATO. OPEC. OPEC. And UNICEF. UNICEF. No, that's okay. We'll stop it. <laughs> <laughs> 74 rings. <laughs> Got it? Got it. Okay, we're gonna take a little break.